Hi, welcome to my channel Industry 4.0. Today, in this video, you will understand flower recognition and accuracy in convolutional neural networks, CNN. Please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. So, let's start. Introduction Convolutional Neural Network, CNN, is a class of artificial neural networks in deep learning. PlantNet plant identification is usually applied to explore visual imagery. Most convolutional neural networks are opposed to invariant to translation. They have presentations in image and video recognition. Recommender systems. Image classification. Image segmentation. Medical image analysis. Natural language processing. Brain computer interfaces. Financial time series. CNNs are standardized with multilayer perceptrons. Those are fully connected networks. Every neuron in one layer is linked to all neurons in the next layer. That full connectivity makes them inclined to overfit data. Description Many times we see a flower and get curious to know more about it. But it is nearly impossible for a common man with less knowledge of flower species to accurately identify them. What makes it impossible is their existence in wide varieties of color and shape. It is just a matter of browsing on the internet to know more about a flower. But what if the link between the flower image and flower name is missing? Here comes the significance of involving machine learning algorithms in aiding such nature enthusiasts. Flowers are the most attractive and distinguishing feature of a plant. Therefore flower recognition can help to know more about the plant. The two main common features of flowers are their color and shape. Those features can be used to train the model such that it can later identify an unknown flower. Most of the existing systems provide inefficient results such as providing the probabilities of a few predicted flowers. Thus our objective is to help common people in easily identifying a flower that they have seen in a very efficient and accurate manner. In this proposed system we develop an efficient model for flower image classification using convolutional neural networks. The previously collected images of several flowers and their corresponding labels will be used to train the model. Once trained, the model takes as input the image of a flower and predicts the common name as well as the family name of the flower. It also displays the major uses of the identified plant thus increasing the functionality of the system. Methodology The proposed flower recognition system is implemented by developing a convolutional neural network which is a very efficient model for image classification. CNN models are trained by initially feeding a set of flower images along with their labels. These images are then passed through a stack of layers including convolutional, RELU, pooling and fully connected layers. These images are taken as batches. In the proposed system, a batch size of 32 was given. The model was trained using 150 epochs. Initially, the model extracts small features and as the training process progresses more detailed features will be extracted. Most of the pre-processing is done automatically which is one of the major advantages of CNN. In addition to that input images were resized. Augmentation is also applied which increases the size of the dataset by applying operations such as rotation, shear etc. During the training process, the model discovers features and patterns and learns them. This knowledge is then used to later find the name of a flower when a new flower image is given as input. 
Categorical cross entropy is used as loss function. Initially, the loss values would be very high, but as the process advances, the loss function is reduced by adjusting the weight values. Once the classification is done, the CSV file is imported and the major uses of that plant would be displayed. To increase the user friendliness of the system, the model was deployed into a web application. Thus the user can take a picture of the flower in their mobile phone or camera. The user can then take the web app and upload the image and click on the predict button. The model will be loaded and prediction is done. The common name, family name and major uses of that flower will be displayed for the user. Thus the process of knowing more about a beautiful flower that you have just seen is simplified by this system. Implementation The proposed system was implemented as follows. Step 1. Image Acquisition This step involves collecting images that can be used to train the model so that later when it comes across an unknown image, it can identify the flower based on the knowledge acquired during the training phase. Step 2. Image preprocessing, here the images collected in the previous step were resized and augmented to increase the efficiency of the model. During augmentation, the size of the data set would be increased by performing operations such as rotation, shear etc. Then the image will be split into 75% training and 25% testing sets. Step 3. Training Phase this is the step where the actual training of the model takes place. In this phase, the model extracts features such as color and shape of the flower used for training. Each of the training images will be passed through a stack of layers, which includes convolutional layer, rela layer, pooling layer, and fully connected layer. Step 4. Validation Phase once the model completes its training from the training set, it tries to improve itself by tuning its weight values. The loss function used is categorical cross-entropy and the optimizer used is stochastic gradient descent. Step 5. Output prediction. Once the validation phase is over, the model is ready to take an unknown image of a flower and predict its name from the knowledge it gained during training and validation phases. Once the classification is done by the model, it displays the common name as well as the family name of that flower. Step 6. Benefits Module Once the identity of the flower is found out, a previously created CSV file is imported and the benefits of the corresponding flower will be found out and displayed to the user. Step 7. Web Application Finally the developed model was deployed into a web application which further makes the system more user-friendly. Data Set a subset of Oxford 102 flowers dataset is used for training the CNN model. The original dataset consists of 102 classes with 40 to 200 images of each flower. Out of this a subclass of 24 flowers with 150 images of each class is used to train the model. Equal number of images of each class are given to implement an unbiased training. Result and Analysis The model was trained with batch size 32 and with 150 epochs. The classification report obtained after the training and validation phase is shown in Figure 2. The graph plots the training loss, validation loss, training accuracy and the validation accuracy for each epoch. Final Result the model attained an overall accuracy of 90%. When the model is fed with a real-time image of hibiscus taken on a mobile camera, a correct prediction with 98.46% accuracy was obtained. Conclusion Flower being the most attractive part is the best way to identify a plant. Thus identifying the flower can help in knowing more about that plant. The proposed system takes as input an image of a flower and displays the common name as well as the family name of the flower. Since the model is a convolutional neural network which has proven to be one of the most efficient image classification methods, the proposed system is highly reliable. 
A CSV file is imported after classification and the corresponding uses of the plant are displayed to the user thus making the system more useful. Further the model was deployed into a web application.